So we'll stand, we'll start as we do in the Wuji posture. The feet are hip width and parallel. Feel the earth under your feet. Like you're extending roots down into the earth. Sinking into the earth, feeling that earth energy bubble up, bubbling up through the arch of the foot. Feel that earth energy and then also feel the heavenly energy funneling in into the crown and the eyes, nose, ears and throat. Relax the upper back, neck and shoulders. Separate the shoulder blades a little bit so that there's some space here under the arms. So you can feel all the soft, soft uh, under parts connecting with that earth energy and all of the firmer outer parts are connecting with the heavenly energy above. And then those two energies mix and meld together and they come and store here in the bones and tendons and sinews and also in the, the dantian hair, this egg-shaped area, about three fingers underneath the navel and in, in between the front and the back of the body. So with the hands, we can feel that, feel the earth breathing, feel that earth energy. Tip the chin down ever so slightly just to straighten the spine and feel that heaven connection above and the earth connection below. And the, the intertwining of the two energies as we recharge our battery, the plus and the negative poles. And then we can start with a gentle twist. Letting the arms swing naturally. Just getting a nice gentle twist of the spine and the organs. You can start to bring the hands up a little bit, tapping at the shoulders nest and the kidneys. Ringing the bell. Jeez. Oh, you want your chair, huh? We can keep doing it. No, I don't think we Yeah, tapping. Tapping down to the hips. And then once again, starting at the top. Getting into a nice rhythm. Letting the breath in and out naturally, letting the breath and the movement naturally coordinate. Bring the breath, full body breaths, in and out through the nose if that's accessible. And then if you're just starting out, if you'd like a couple times, you can breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And relax forward, release any tension in the neck. And sway to one side, the outer edge of one foot. And sway to the other side. Sway and feel that stretch right here breathe release and stretch breathe and release back to center and breathe and release and breathe and release and then let's bring the arms up Feeling that heavenly chi come down. And then we can do a modified raise the well out to the side. And then reverse, which is like pulling down the column of chi. And release, relax. Let go of any tension in the neck and shoulders. Sway from one side to the other. And pulling up, drawing, drawing down. The doggy needed an assist. So now we're going to do, go move into the celestial being, followed by bone marrow cleansing. So feel the earth underneath, feel
feel everything around us. Notice the quality of the air, that it's there's a, a substance quality to it. And play with the bala chi. And then play with this lake of chi and move the water around. And then we're going to gather and scoop and bring the pinky and ring finger together in front of the dantian, then the middle finger in front of the heart, and then the thumb and forefinger together, pointing between the eyebrows. And you can rest the thumb, thumbs lightly on the sternum, or you can move uh, to three, four inch space and press the palms together lightly. Inhale and exhale, find your center point. Find the stillness and she's quiet. And then with an exhale, we push out to the sides into the celestial being pose and we expand into the universe filling up the universe, pinching the shoulder blades together slightly, feeling a nice stretch in the arms, noticing the five points of the starfish, the top of the head, the palms, and the soles of the feet, and then all the points where they intersect, feeling like we're growing larger and larger into the universe, feeling strong and vibrant and vital, noticing what the air feels like, what it smells like, the temperature, the moisture, and then bring all that inside. Bring it inside, gather, and then once again, expanding out into the universe, into the celestial being or the starfish pose, feeling ourselves growing up through the clouds, up way, way into the sky, into the cosmos, feeling strong and vibrant and healthy. The hair feels like it's growing, the nails are growing, long and luscious and strong. Inhaling and exhaling and exchanging energy with the universe, filling up the universe. Imagining what that would be like, what it would look like, what it would feel like, what it would smell like. And then we bring that all inside. And then once more, expanding, growing larger and larger, filling up the universe. A giant amongst the stars, amongst the cosmos. Exchanging energy with the universe. And once more, we bring all that inside and then rest. The palms float down, float, 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 like that. Breathe with the earth. And then one hand comes into the lower back, into the, the dip of the lower back. You make the energetic connection between the two hands, front and back. And then we're going to sweep that hand down into the earth, out to the horizon. Up overhead in an arc, feeling your energetic crown, the bow way, the 100 meeting points. Notice that energetic connection. Just take a beat to notice that. See what you feel. And then the hand's going to flip up and it's going to touch the sky and circle and swirl that heavenly chi down and let the hand float down, feeling that energetic field at the face the thyroid, the neck, and then lighting up the bones like you're on an x-ray. Visualize the skeletal structure lit up bright white and gleaming like a pearl, like something you'd see lit up on an x-ray, a bright, lustrous, glowing, pearlescent quality. And noticing that the bones are welcoming this attention and they're clean and bright and supple and pliant 
and then the hand floats down. We feel the connection here between the two hands at the belly. And then we discard any stagnant chi into the like compost, and then we switch. So then we're gonna feel the connection, the hands, the zian. Notice that connection. And then we're gonna sweep into the earth, out to the horizon, palm flips over. We feel the heavenly chi comes up in an arc all the way overhead. We feel our energetic crown. Maybe it's get, gotten a little stronger already. Notice what that feels like. You can move the, play with it, move the hand around. And then the hand tips up to the sky. Feel that heavenly connection and notice the difference of the quality of the energy. And then we swirl, swirl the hand. And then it comes into the fontanelle, the heavenly chi. <clears throat> the forehead, the eyes, the mouth, the throat. And then once again, noticing all the bones, visualizing the skeletal structure lit up as if on an x-ray. Glowing, glowing pearlescent color, strong and, and pliant and supple bones. Like a like a youthful tree, they they can bend when they need to, but they say they stay strong. And then we bring the hand down. Once again, notice the connection at the belly. Notice the skeletal structure. And then we release into the earth like compost. And then switch. Sweep up. Connection. Tip up. Swirl down. Play around with it. Bone marrow cleansing, scrubbing the bones of any impurities. And floating the hand down into the earth like compost. And then the other hand. Arc. Feel that energetic crown. Tip up. Open up. And float down. Feeling that energetic connection, that energetic field. Scrubbing the bones until they're gleaming white. Using any visualizations that come that come to you using your imagination and then release into the earth and we'll do once more on each side and open up tip up scrub down feel the connection release like compost and then the side Sending healing energy wherever it needs to go. And then release. And now we're going to use both hands. So similar to what we've been doing with both hands. And we're going to disperse and then scoop and gather and bring up the center this time. Feel the connection. Feel the energetic crown with both hands. Notice what that feels like. Any vibration or magnetism. Temperature changes, tingling. Maybe, maybe all of those things, none of those things, different things. And then we're gonna flip up and push up and feel the sky. Feel that heavenly chi, notice the quality of that. And then we, we swirl the heavenly chi and we let it funnel down, pouring in like warm honey and scrubbing away any last impurities so the bones are now bright, gleaming white. Strong and supple, good tensile strength. Feel that energetic connection here now at the Dantian. Maybe the field is extended out a little bit more. And you can kind of notice where that sweet spot is. Just enjoy the moment. And then let the hands float down at the hips. Breathe with the earth. And then we're going to scoop and gather pinky ring finger, middle finger, thumb and forefinger, pointing back between the eyebrows.
observing the quality of our breath and energy. And then the hands down. Close. Very nice. Um, let's just take a five second break, 10 second break, if anybody would like to grab some water before we do our eight brocades. Okay, so we're going to do the eight silken pieces of brocade, a very traditional Qigong, very ancient and traditional Qigong, uh, very comprehensive and just really good general Qigong set uh, that works um, to strengthen our, our health and immunity and, and increase our resilience and strength. So it's just a good overall general general health Qigong set, um, very beneficial for, for everyone and a good, good, a good one to do, very effective for uh, everyday, everyday Qigong practice. And also because it's so widely practiced, it's you know, fairly easy to find um, information about it. I mean, there are so many, so many uh, tutorials and videos and, and practicing Qigong clubs around the world that, that practice this, this Qigong, um, as well as the Shibashi that we do. So once more, we're standing in the Wuji posture. The joints are open, loose, and springy. And we're gonna clear, disperse, rise up, bring the hands palm up, flip over, and push up against the sky and a nice static stretch, tip back a little bit to open the diaphragm, and then we release out to the side. Gather, stretch, static stretch, release out. We'll do about six repetitions. Push up on the sky, tip back to open up the front channels of the diaphragm. And release. Let's do once more. Full body move, full body motions. And release. And now we'll do rider on horseback. So if you have a preferred position for any of these, feel free to take them. There's uh, all, as with so much of uh, Qigong and Tai Chi, there are maybe an infinite, num an infinite number of variants. So we're gonna come out with one side like this, and we're gonna look through our, we're gonna make an L shape with our hand and look between, uh, engage the eyes and look between the thumb and the first finger. And then this hand is reflecting back on the shoulder's nest, and we sink slightly when we look and feel that nice stretch. And then we come up, exchange, sink and look. Rise up, rider on horseback. Let the breath and the movement coordinate. Couple more. And then once more on each side. And relax the back, neck, and shoulders. And now we'll do, do this one. We're going to bring one hand up and push the stomach channel down like that. And this hand that's up, we're going to inhale, push against the sky, inhale, and then inhale a little bit more. And then we circle around like we're holding a candle. And then we're, we press gently on the stomach channel to assist with digestion, mental, emotional, and physical digestion. And then the other hand pops up, hand up, flips over, hold up the sky, open, and then breathe in, breathe in a little bit more, circle, and press down. And then that causes the rise, similar to when we do Dragon and the tiger, 
the first one. Inhale some more. Inhale and then exhale. Press down on the on the stomach channel. Help in with digestion. Comes up, flooding that chi. That chi floods up. Inhale. Inhale some more. Circle. Do a couple more. And once more. Inhale, inhale some more. And press down. Now our hands are in position to do that wise owl gazes backward. Squeeze the shoulders, shoulder blades together and look back, pick a spot behind you to gaze at. And then forward, sweep forward and then sweep back. The wise owl gazes back. Forward and sweep. This is number four. The wise owl gazes backward. Superb owls. Sweep back and uh, pinch the shoulders together. Number, that was number four. Now we'll move to number five. The bear, the, uh, the bear ducks under a fence. The, the official name. All right, so we're gonna put our hands on our haunches like this and we're gonna tip one shoulder down and then we're gonna rest the weight on the thighs and we're gonna duck under a fence and tip the other shoulder towards the earth, and then we circle, circle up, and touch the ceiling with your chin, and then we circle down, press down, circle under, kinking the garden hose, and then releasing it, and cooling the heart fire. Duck under, and circle up, and cool the heart fire. It's like we're kinking a garden, ho garden hose. And then when you unkink it, that cool water flows up and cools the heart fire. So establishing a correct and healthy balanced energy pattern, or reestablishing a healthy energy pattern. A couple more. And circling up. Very nice. And you can maybe feel a nice stretch in your hips as well. So number six is the seven stars, which is the, the, the joints, which are key immunity and chi storage points. So the neck is one, two, the shoulders, three, the elbows, four, the wrists, five, the hips, six, the knees. Seven, the ankles, seven stars. Okay, so hands on the lower back, like so. Feel the energetic connection. Send, feel that healing energy being transmitted into the tissues, tendons, and organs. And then we open up the front, um, push the elbows together, look up, and then we slide down. All the way down and then around and then seal it up. Feel the connection here. Sweep back and throw it at the top. Squeeze the shoulders together, shoulder uh, elbows together. Slide down, release, ragdoll. Slide up, sealing up. Connection here. Release down, rag ball, slide up, sweep back, open the belly. Let's do a couple more. Open up, and once more. 
Luis. Very nice. So that was number six. And now we're going to punch number seven. So punching with eyes narrowed, high horse posture. The forearms are perpendicular to the rib cage. We make fists with our hands. And then we're going to put our game faces on. When we punch, we're going to narrow the eyes and grip the earth with your toes. So punching, narrow the eyes, squeeze the earth with your toes, squeeze the fists, and we're going to, um, this is letting go of liver heat when we do this punching, so it helps to resolve or let go of uh, strong emotions like anger, frustration, rage, impatience, um, shame, things like that. Punch, narrow the eyes, squeeze, and then release. And then we gather right here. So we keep the shoulders square except for right here when we gather. Bring in, punch out, squeeze, and then release. And release, relax. And now we're gonna bounce seven times to dispel all, <clears throat> all ailments and sicknesses. We come up, this is a bouncing. You can either just kind of bounce energetically or you can just um, drop down a little bit. Um, you, want, you wanna be gentle with it. So we come up, raise the heels if, if, if that feels good, and then bounce. Bounce, drop like a post. Release, discard, stagnant chi. Let's say six and seven. Very good. And relax. Swing the arms. Draw up. Open up to the heavenly chi. And pulling down a column of chi. Float hands down. Feel the hip connection. Breathe with the earth. Relax the wrists. Let's just stand for a few seconds. Just notice the quality of the energy inside and outside and around you from all sides. If you're holding on to any remaining tension, scan your body, see if you're holding on to any remaining tension and see if you can if there's anything else you want to let go, breathe into any areas that you need, that you feels feels like would be good to breathe into. I was still holding some tension in my stomach, for example, so I was seeing if I could just release that a little bit more. Let the unconscious energy patterns become conscious. And once more, sweep, sweep up and sweep down. Float hands down and close. Very nice. I'm going to open the door so my, see what my dog is up to. dog gives me when she's trying to talk to me about something and the look means wow you are so thick <laughs> i can't ever understand what she is saying when she's being so specific and so clear and she really works on me and so lately i've been reading my bathroom book is uh this little book that i've had for many years called the wonders of qigong and um 
in there, there are all these amazing stories and about people recovering from illness using Qigong. And, and then I started thinking about stories that I read about people during World War II um, in Europe and how much their health improved from not having any gasoline from their cars or any electricity and having to eat fresh food and walk everywhere. And then I was thinking, well, probably some of these people who improved from Qigong didn't get to shop at Whole Foods. And they probably uh, took their Chinese herbs, but may, may not have had a bunch of supplements. And yet they use their Qigong to improve their health. And which means that, you know, they did this, their improvements electronically, where they improve their energy field. And uh, then I was like watching, you know, like uh, young Frankenstein last night and how they were electrifying him to get life into the Frankenstein monster they created. And that it's the same thing on Paranorman, if you're a, um, a viewer of that. They always depict spiritual energy and our life force is electricity. And if Qigong is doing that for us, then it's obviously from these accounts in China entirely possible for us to heal ourselves electrically by doing these exercises. So I'm just really kind of like after what, 35 years, 40 years of studying Chinese medicine, just kind of like going, wow. <laughs> Uh, like I said, thick. Okay, I'm done. Thank you, Carol. That was wonderful. And it makes me um, yearn for a place like that, that we could at least go to, to, and I know there, you know, who knows, and this is what the current situation we're in, you know, but just kind of an off grid place. I think that's, that's important, you know, to, to be able to, to get out there away from those, those things that you were saying, you know, the, the gasoline cars and all the uh, electromagnetism and everything, you know, um, to uh, see what that feels like and how our, how our health can improve and, and recharge. Good, good reminder and a good reminder of the benefits of, of Qigong too. So let's, uh, let's do, let's close out with some self-massage and tapping. Pick your, pick your spots, <laughs> pick your, pick the spots that you like to do this. So we can start with rubbing our hands together, gathering chi, gathering energy, tap the fingers together. And then let's, um, let's give a little treatment at the, uh, the cuticles, at the, the sides right here. So just kind of wiggle, feel those, pinch, pinch the sides of the fingertips, right where the nail bed is. I'm starting on the thumb there. And then the, the next finger, it should feel good. They don't get a, a lot of attention. You can bring some warmth and oxygen into these areas. These are our key points on the organ meridians. And then the other side. Squeeze and wiggle, wiggle and squeeze. You can do the, I'm doing the sides, you can do the, the, the base to the bed. And then let's just give a little bit of a massage right here into the fish belly. Sometimes I even use my, my knuckles like this, like that. Whatever feels good. Massage, notice if there's any, if there's any sore spots, you can dig into those a little bit. And then the other side. It's like making um, orange juice. <laughs> All right. 
I, I get a, I have a little knot right there. So sometimes I like to work at it. Feels good. Massage. And then use the middle finger and squeeze, squeeze the fingers into the hands and then notice where the middle finger is and just hold it there for a minute. Give a little rub, the laogong point, give a little rub. And then let's tap and start at the neck, tap up to the forehead, stimulating the, the white matter, the gray matter. I forget which, maybe both of them, but it's help, it helps with cognition and the thought process and keeping the brain young. Into the neck, into the shoulders, tap, tap, tap. Into the, near the temples, not, not too hard on the temples though. Anywhere there, there's a soft indent, you wanna be more gentle as we always, we always note that. You can do the, the cheekbone, the top, top, top part, you know, mandible, uh, right below the iris. All along the cheekbone, under the eye, the bone there. The chin bone, the mandible. The, uh, the corner edge, the hinge, and then um, the eyebrows but just be careful, don't poke yourself. You can rub out like this. Maybe be a little more gentle. And then take all four fingers and start in the center of the forehead and spread out. Like you crack an egg and spread it out. And rub the hands together. We're gonna gently press the base of the palm at the eye socket, so we get a little bit of a massage on the on the eye. And then keeping the hands, keeping the head forward, keeping everything the same. We're just gonna move the eyes back and forth to the right and to the left, and you feel that little massage that I was talking about. Don't press too hard; just a light, a light massage. Look to the right and to the left, and you can swirl the eyes and circle the eyes in one direction, like a figure eight or an infinity sign, and then the other direction, and then right and left. Keep breathing. Breathe from through the nose if you can. Nice, easy breathing. And the eyes go right and left. And then we swirl the tongue around in the mouth and gather saliva, move the tongue right, left, up, down, circle it. And then gather that saliva, swallow, bring the hands down, float the hands down as you swallow. And that saliva is transformed into a golden healing elixir. The hands float down. And then once more, we'll do the ears now. Actually, let's start, we'll start with pinching. Pinch the ears. If you have a hearing device, um, work around it or tap around it, or you can um, do this when you're not wearing it. And really squeeze and pinch and massage the ears. They can, they can take a firm rubbing. Really want to get them nice and warmed up. Get into all the nooks and crannies. All the nooks and crannies. And then we slide up the, see, see how red there? <laughs> we slide up the back and then a little bit pressure down, slide up and down, up and down, massage the earlobes. And then we'll ear plunging like this. Okay. And let's do a little bit of a, um, well, let's pet the, pet the throat. 
like you're petting a cat. Healing energy to the thyroid. And then let's do a little bit of a, sh a shoulder rub. So give yourself a hug. Squeeze, 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 massage. You can start here, work your way to the shoulders and then back to the neck. And then switch. Hug and squeeze. Give yourself a little massage. Take one hand, squeeze the neck. Squeeze and rub and massage the neck. And then the other hand. Not too hard, even if it feels good, because it's um, it can be, uh, the muscles here are very thin and tender. So you always want to go easy on them. Very nice. And then we'll, let's uh, sweep, sweep the outside, sweep the inside, outside, good. and sweep. And we'll do the clavicles, tap, anywhere that feels good. Hey, Tiffany, remember this guy from his crib? <laughs> this is Matt Tankerman. He's 11 in a few days. Oh, hi. No, I didn't have a, you had a big video on you. Oh, hi, Max. Happy almost birthday. You're very sweet. Oh, I saw you some videos you really posted, and you're, you're quite the flosser. You've got a good floss game. Quite good dancer. Yeah. Pretty good. I was impressed. Okay. Right. Um, and we do the uh, the five tapping. Yes. Uh, Thanks, buddy. He does all the all the cool dances. Yeah. What what do remember, Max? What do Linda? No. Yeah, we we remember Max. He's been he's been to the. I say Linda Linda remembers Max, young Max. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the the kidney area. Just gives the kidneys some love. Everywhere. <laughs> Rub and massage and or tap. I like to go up and then out. Little circles. You can even bounce a little bit. Whatever your preferred preferred way to give the kidneys some attention is. And then the front, sweep the belly. <laughs> A little bit of massaging at the hips. And into the thighs. The thighs of the arm, <laughs> sort of. Okay, the forearms. And the, uh, let's do rub the knee. Rub, massage, give the knee some love. And the other knee. You can tap or rub or massage. Bring some energy to that area, some oxygen and some movement, some warmth, blood, bring the blood, open the capillaries, and the other side. And then right here, the stomach 36, it's, it's kind of, it's on the outside right here. You feel a little dip right there. Give that some love. Might feel good. Yeah, I can feel it. And then the other side. There. And you can tap. And then I like to tap like from there all the way down that outer shin. And 
and then the other side all the way to the outer ankle. And then we'll do the ankles. So just like you did the knee, rub and give the ankle some attention. Bring the blood to the ankle, get things moving, get things a little warm, bring some, some pink, some pink color there. Other side. Really can get in there, get into all the little nooks and crevices around the ankle. Other side. And tap, 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 tap. And we'll do uh, shimmy like a horse, starting at the hands. Move the hands, let the vibration come up, the arms, and then the whole body can start to shake and vibrate. This is a shake like a tree or shimmy like a horse, just letting vibrating and letting go of any stagnant chi, any tight areas. Good. And then once again, we can do drop like a post up, down. And flick to the earth. Flick, 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 flick. And then let's march. We're gonna march uh, tap, same side. Tap, tap. Keep tapping. Keep tapping. Tap, tap, tap. And then cross body. We're gonna tap the other way. Swing the arms and tap. Establish that healthy, positive energy pattern. Cross body energy, good for the brain, good for the body. Making that infinity shape with our circles. Good. And then close up the belly with our chi circles. So one hand at the belly. If you have a preferred way to do this, take that. I'm, like, I'm gonna take my right hand first. As a tradition, as a woman, we do the right hand first, and then do the left. There's also the dragon in repose, like that. So whatever your preferred position is, weight the elbows, um, relax the shoulders. Feel that energetic connection here at the belly. And then we make circles. We're going to make about 12 circles, starting clockwise, although it doesn't really matter because we'll, we'll go the opposite direction. So circle. A little bit bigger each time, expanding the circle. About five, a little bit bigger, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to the start of 10, 11, and 12, and then the other way. 12, 11, a little smaller now. 10, circling back to the center. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Back to the center, center starting point. Thumbs are in the navel, hands hang below, elbows hang down, shoulders are relaxed. Feel the connection. Dragon in repose, feel the connection. And sweep down, up. Palm of chi, float down, and pulse with the earth. Very nice, everybody.